I have these three cubes. I got them from the Dollar Tree. They actually had a little drawer on the inside that I removed, so you just want to make sure that the opening is on the back. I painted my first one using some Wise Owl Republic Red. My second one I painted using some Wise Owl Snow Owl. Again, I'm pretty much going to paint all of the sides that are going to be exposed, leaving the back side the opened end where I pulled the little drawer from. And then my third one I'm going to paint using some Wise Owl Anchor. You can also use Wise Owl Bowie. They are pretty similar in color. And once those are dry, I'm just going to set them aside. I have some wood letters spelling USA. And I'm going to be using my silver gilding metallic paint from Wise Owl as well. They also have a gold. This is a really nice coverage. And all paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And then I will just set my letters aside to dry. I found this little cowbell at Hobby Lobby. They had a variety of different sizes. And I have these little stickers. And I'm going to place the different star stickers on the cowbell. Now I did try to stencil the stars on and because it's such a small space, I felt like the stickers came out better. Once everything is fully dry, I'm going to start gluing my pieces together. I did take a little tumbling tower block from the Dollar Tree and I glued it on the right side of the red cube and then I put a little nail there. Since the cube was a little too thin, that's why I added the Jenga block so the nail had something to hold on to. And then I'm going to glue my pieces together. The red goes on the top. I place the white right below that. And then the blue to the right of the white. I'm going to use some hot glue to glue my letters onto my blocks. Starting with the U at the top, the S, and then the A. I'm then going to go back to my cowbell, and I have some red jute. I believe I got around Christmas time, and I'm going to place two pieces onto the top of the cowbell, and then I'm going to tie those pieces to the nail that we nailed into the side of the red cube. And you want to make sure you double knot this just so it doesn't come apart, and you can cut all that extra jute off. I felt like having the two pieces helped keep the cowbell hanging nice and straight. And this is what we have so far. And to finish it off, I just took some of my Wise Owl Furniture Salve. This is a great top coat, especially for items that are just going to be staying indoors. And I do recommend you glue everything down before using it. Then as a last minute thought, I made a little raffia bow for the top corner of the red cube. And I did rub the salve off in that area because it will not adhere well. So I added the hot glue. And then there you go. Now we have this really cute USA shelf sitter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.